We are the Galactic Federation of Lights and we greet you in the love lights of the One Creator. We as the Federation are very concerned not to infringe on any person's free will. Therefore, any insights that we share with you through this instrument should be taken with discernment in your heart. Today, this instrument seeks to know what happens on the so-called dark side of the moon. To understand what happens there, first you need to understand what this side of the moon really is. The dark side of the moon refers to the hemisphere of the moon that is facing away from your planet. In reality, it is no darker than any other part of the moon's surface as sunlight does in fact fall equally on all sides of the moon. It only appears dark to your kind as that hemisphere can never be viewed from Earth due to a phenomena that your kind has termed the tidal locking. Like we said during the earlier transmission a week ago with this instrument, we have many bases on the moon that are used to observe your planet. At present, these bases are being moved to the planet Saturn as per the agreement we had with the representatives of your kind during the first contact almost 50 years ago. These bases are not only for the purpose of observation, but also for protecting your kind from infiltration from other interplanetary sources. Let us explain to you the types of structures that are on the so-called dark side of the moon. These structures that are present on the dark side of the moon are similar to your cities. There are three types of structures that are commonly found on the dark side of the moon. The first kind is similar to your metallic buildings that have angles much similar to your houses. However, these are the smallest of the structures that are present on the dark side. On these structures, our galactic brothers reside and is their main base wherein the third to fourth density beings reside. Other higher density beings do not require any physical vehicle to appear on the moon or any other places on the cosmos. Hence, they do not require any physical vehicle. The third and fourth density physical vehicles are much like costumes for us. We just need them to interact with the physical world that resides on the third and fourth and middle fifth dimensions. On these structures, these beings reside just like your kind requires houses to live on. They live on these structures and perform the various observation tasks and other tasks associated with the upkeep of the various spaceships and other instruments that are required to travel to different portals in the cosmos. These structures usually have black colored windows, however, the surface is constructed in such a manner as to make it appear as if there is nothing but the moon when observing from your planet or from other parts of the galaxy. In fact, it is a form of so-called camouflage by your kind. If this camouflage had not been maintained on these structures, then your kind would have known about it beforehand. However, at present, this information can be freely shared among your people, knowing that many are already aware of the facts that the moon was used for and its specific purpose to protect the planet. Then, there are other types of structures that are created using crystals that appear transparent glass-like on observing with your third density eyes. They are usually oval-shaped and set up above the large craters that are present on the dark side of the moon. These structures never have sharp edges, they are always smooth and rounded in order to balance the energies of the various interplanetary species that work inside such structures. 
These structures are primarily used to house all the intergalactic devices or so-called weapons that are used in case an infringement from the so-called negative-oriented Orions, Anunnakis, or the Reptilians take place. These structures are invisible to your normal human eyes. Only with the so-called infrared devices that your kind uses can they be detected. Thirdly, there are dark structures that resemble your so-called military bases that are colored pitch black in order to resemble the darkness of the dark side of the moon are present. These structures do not have any reflective surface in order to avoid a detection. These are also the largest structures that are up to hundreds of your so-called kilometers long. They also have small buildings near their entrances that may appear tunnel-like to your kind. These are the present most important parts of our base on the dark side of the moon. These are present in order to allow different species from different planets. Let us now tell you the brief history of why the moon became a tidal locked. As the moon was created artificially by the Orion Empire fleets one million years ago, it was not tidal locked as it is now. This artificially created moon was used as a base for this Orion Empire fleets at about 800,000 years ago. We destroyed these Orion Empire bases from the moon. The Orions, in order to hide from the oncoming attack from our fleets, moved its bases to the dark side of the moon in order to hide from the attacks and save themselves. If the moon had kept rotating like it used to normally, then we would have been able to destroy the planet and destroy all the Orions on the dark side of the moon. This is also the reason why there are so many craters on the side as compared to the fronts to earth in order to you and the ending of the so-called religion movements that take place on your planet from time to time and are still existing on your planet. The various religious movements, however, have the well-being of all entities on the planet. Even though sometimes they may separate the various entities on the planet into different groups of religions. However, the reality is that all are one and unity is required in your planet for it to ascend into the new earth. The truth behind this can also be found on the original sound vibration recordings that occurred during the first human infiltration of the moon. However, much of it has been hidden from the so-called general entities on planet Earth. The moon is also used as an interdimensional interdensity portal, meaning entities and beings from various densities can appear on the moon. This also allows many different energies to come from other dimensions as well. The existence of such bases were firstly reported by the so-called second person to land on the moon named Buzz. Let us tell you now, at this times, the inner work is the most important that is required for your kind. Because when a flower blossoms, my friends, it does not care whether it is seen or not. This is the essence of being and inner work, which is substantially more fruitful than any other work. Inner work is concerned only pollution, is to radiate the beingness that arises upon the realization of something far outer world. The greatest service an entity may do is this beaming of radiance that is of inward nature. For it is true that the world in which you find your engagements, the world in which you find those who call upon you, expecting to have your service in return, is an important mirroring element, shall we say. For service seeks those it may serve, and it can seem somewhat hollow and self-enclosed to feel that the bonds that unite those who seek in a sacred humanity are not breath full of life. It may be that there will be a day, there will be a week, there will be a month, or there will be a year in which one cannot honestly say to oneself that one's whole heart is in service to others. Upon these occasions, it is well to be consoled, 
it is well to realize that in order to serve, the self must be gathered to itself, and this very often requires moments of rest. It requires pulling back and without judgment allowing the self to follow that which it finds diverting, allowing the self to seek solace where solace may be found. The very act of making this allowance is itself a spiritual act of very great significance. For in that gesture, one acknowledges also that one still abides, that one still is upon the path, which one still has set the intention to be of service to others, in precisely the way it is given one to be. Therefore, we leave you now, beloved, in the love lights of the one infinite creator. Bye.